First question. Life is full of diversity and challenges. If you could eliminate one thing from your daily routine, what would it be? Um, I think for me, for me, if it was a necessity, I think I'd remove of like the need of sleep the need of sleep what would be the main reason you choose to yeah. re remove that um well it's like when you know when you go to bed you need a certain amount of sleep so you can get to your next day mm -hmm. if you don't need sleep you can use those extra hours to do things you didn't have during you know the time you actually needed it and you could just keep you know working and working you know you think with the it'll drive you mentally insane because you can never sleep but you know i think if we didn't have yeah. to sleep we wouldn't really feel the effects of you know not having sleep yeah exactly you know mm -hmm. it's like okay. removing it from existence yeah that's a that's a good that's a good answer i like that not playing this game yeah uh playing anything other than <laughs> <laughs> it, it, dead ass answer. Is your dead ass answer. Do you play this every day? <laughs> uh, I'm starting to, and I don't like it. <laughs> well, what don't you like about the game? <laughs> the people. The people. The basement dwellers. Uh, playing my Xbox. Playing your Xbox. How is that a challenge? It's a challenge for me because it tests my mental capacity. I want to do other things, but I'm mm. just always hooked onto Xbox. <laughs> like, just game consoles in general. Okay. You know? Mm. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. <laughs> Hold on. Let's, let me think. Smoking. Wait. No, drink. drinking. 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 Hmm. It's good when you drink with people, you know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. It's not as fun. <laughs> you sit there and you drink. I mean, I guess if you watch a movie, hell yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Do it yourself. Hmm, one thing from a daily routine. So Easter. Going to work. Going to work. Is it just the work aspect of it? Or is it the time consuming? No, it's time consuming. I mean, do you, are we really made for that? I feel I like we're made for so much more. Than I feel like we're made for work, <laughs> but for work that is meaningful for us. But like, no, that's my point of view. Huh? This is on you. What am I saying? <laughs> right? Oh no, no, no. That's fine. I get it. Cool. Um. I mean, yeah, work aspect so that I can do more things that I would like to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that I want to like remove myself from society being productive but in the aspect that I want to do more what I want to do yeah I, I yeah what uh, a lot of people they can definitely contribute to society if they're not in the workforce oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every, everyone has value even in their own way I don't really have a daily routine but from what I usually do I probably would uh, remove from like what I usually do during the day uh, stop overthinking. Stop so overthinking. Much, I do that every single day. And why is that such a problem to you? I do that because it's kind of affecting my relationship with my boyfriend. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's kind of like screwing with both of us. And like, it's okay to overthink, but at the same time, like, it's been too much lately. If you could eliminate one thing from your daily routine, what would it be? Time. Time. Like, the deadlines and stuff, or the constant rate of it? What do you mean? Like, you know, our lives are minuscule in the grand scheme of things, and each person has, like, a very, very short amount of time to spend on Earth. And we don't always get enough time to accomplish the things that we want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And it's really frustrating to think about that sometimes, how there will never be enough time to do the things that I want to do. And it's just, it's just really frustrating sometimes to think about that. Cause like I recently started working again and it's like, and, and splitting my time between work, her and uh, like my online presence and everything like that. It's really hard. There's just not enough hours so, in the yeah, day. Definitely uh, well, I already know that I'm gonna be preserved, like, cause 
something my mom has always taught me is that the fact of the matter is like if if you know if you're always or like if you're always remembered you were never truly forgotten mm -hmm. and i and another thing that also really frustrates me is like and and this is something that i learned from my history teacher as well and then nothing relating with my, with my life or anything like that it's just that like a lot of times in history, um, sometimes the way things happen get construed or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Um... The commutes? The commutes? <laughs> um, I guess. <laughs> would you like to elaborate on that? Is it the, the people, the time, the action? Uh, I, I guess I guess the time it takes to get from one place to another. Mm -hmm. So I guess you're just uh, it'd be nice to just be able to get there instantly. Do you view it as like stolen time then, Lord. hoping you'd get it back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good answer. I like that. One thing for my daily routine. Mm -hmm. Like, does it get like automatically done or a plate? Like, you, you, you never even had to do it. Never have to do it. Never have to do it. Hmm. Well, I've been kind of like daily working on my car mm -hmm. because the head, I blew the head going uphill really, really, really fast. Kind of, okay, so I had to, I, I already fixed the head. I had to actually get under the engine. Like, I had to pull out the engine and then fix like uh, some of the stuff from under it. Okay. I can't really remember what it is exactly right now, but yeah. Like, can you just ignore it, or it? Like, I mean, if I can, but then there's no way for me to get to work. Yeah, see, th that's what I mean. If you ignored it, you'd kind of be screwed, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, unless we can like ignore the time of me having to like get to work and back home I mean because I have to get rides from like uber or I have to like walk and it's like an hour and 30 minute walk so so I, you, I've seen, you feel like a kind of guy that would appreciate teleportation then wouldn't you <laughs> oh my, my, my most definitely yeah <laughs> um probably all the procrastination that I do <laughs> Um, I spend an hour or so watching YouTube videos. I've uh, got like a kind of a senior thesis project going right now mm -hmm. where I'm uh, researching animated films. <laughs> oh. I was, supposed to f uh, I was gonna work on it a bit, but decided to play VR team for a little bit. <laughs> well, would you like to talk about your thesis project at all? Sure. Um, so what I'm doing thing is i'm just kind of looking into what it takes to make an animated film mm -hmm. i'll be trying to make one on my own even though i don't really animate all i do is draw i don't i just kind of draw well that's very ambitious so it's been an enlightening process uh, do you do you feel like you learned a lot through all of it absolutely um turns out <laughs> Well, well, the whole thing of the process was, I already knew a lot of work went into them, mm -hmm. but um, I just kind of wanted to look into it and kind of spread the word. Oh, I like and that. a lot. Turns out there's a lot of steps in the process. It's <laughs> <laughs> a tough question. To wake up. If you wake up, you lose valuable hours of sleep. And if you use, lose those valuable hours of sleep, you get more tired and more tired. So that's what I say. Hi, hello, and thank you for watching my video. I very much appreciate it. I plan on making a few more of these in the future, and the hardest part is actually finding people who would be willing to talk about these type of things. So if you think you have something interesting to say, then please reach out to me. I'm sure we can make something work. Now, live a good life, and have a nice day.